Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, my process in removing the boat scum uh, that has uh, developed on my boat after a season in the river. Uh, this is my Rinker 232. I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, and I keep it in the river for an entire season uh, without removing it. A season here is um, starts mid-May. I put mine in the water end of May and uh, October 15th is the final day of the season. I pulled out first week of October. Um, actually, the, the scum wasn't as bad this year, even though that looks pretty bad as, as last year. I don't know why. Um, that's a, a, a gritty growth film on the boat. Um, and we're going to go through removing that first by pressure washing and uh, using some oxalic, oxalic acid. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm not a professional. The, this is my experience and this is what I do. Um, please use caution. Um, acid always is a, a, a bad thing to burn, get in your eyes and skin. So please take precautions. I'm not uh, admonishing, advising. I'm just showing you what I have done. Um, so uh, first off, that was the walk around. Um, I'm going to protect the trailer. The oxalic acid uh, is supposedly corros very corrosive to galvanized uh, steel, um, which my trailer is. So I have um, used the uh, galvan or, or plastic to protect the, the, uh, the trailer. Um, started with the pressure wash um, removing, and you can see as we move along here, the a growth that's just a thicker growth comes off fairly easy with a this is a ryobi pressure washer from um, home depot 27 2800 psi somewhere in that range um, and it removes it but you can see it re, uh, what remains is a brown stain um, which is what the oxalic acid will will remove i don't know how the heck that works but it does um, here I'm mixing up the uh, oxalic acid, um, but half, a little more than half full of hot water. You must use hot water. Cold water does not activate work. I'm not sure why, but hot water. Uh, I bought a five pound bag of oxalic acid from Amazon, from Florida Laboratories. I will try to link a description uh, on where I got that. Um, I put two half cups of solo cups ish so probably 16 ounces a full cup maybe a tad more um into that half bucket maybe a little more than half full um that's just my experience um uh, with this application this is the first time i've ever tried to use this by brushing uh on so uh mix there there and then also added some wallpaper paste and what that does is help the solution cling and stick to the fiberglass uh, a little better to help the acid um, do its job in removing that brown staining that remains on the boat after pressure washing uh, mix this uh, up uh, with the acid brush that i also purchased from home depot uh, for a couple of minutes give or take um, it wasn't uh, much to it and uh, just mix it up real 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 well it took the acid to dissolve it took a minute or so for it all to dissolve into the water um, had my gloves on my eye protection later on you'll see i forgot to put them back on at a different point but was trying to be safe here with the acid uh, i will say that i've gotten the acid on my skin my arms uh it it's washed off i'm not getting burned um and i'm my grass that you see in the back i've done this in this spot for uh, f this is probably my fourth year of uh, doing this uh, third year and um, it's never burned the grass out or had any harm so um, all i do is start brushing the oxalic acid on and you can see uh, the stain starts disappearing as i speak and this is not sp sped up this is real time uh, no trick photography it's unbelievable how well this works i've never tried the commercial products uh, on off hall cleaner there's i guess some great other products um, I bought the oxalic acid because that seems to be the main ingredient and um, trying to read in some forums online that a lot of people were using this. Uh, I just wanted to show my results in, in using this. Um, and I'm not brushing uh, that hard. I'm just kind of more putting it on and letting the acid do its thing. There were a few spots along the water line uh, that were a little more stubborn. 
and I did go back and reapply and scrub a, a little more uh, vigorously to try to remove them. But that acid, I don't know what process. I'm not a scientist, nor do I claim to be one, but wow, um, it's just unbelievable how well it works. So um, I go through the whole boat doing this, um, and uh, it it's a little bit of a pain in the butt getting on the bottom. I had to lay on the ground in spots and Boy, I was sore for a, a, a day or so afterward, my back. But uh, uh, I will say there's another application. Uh, this is the first time I've used a brush in the past couple years. I've used a two-gallon um, pump sprayer from Home Depot. Um, I used uh, in two gallons of water, I probably used four cups of the oxalic acid. Um, I used the uh, wallpaper paste and also some Dawn dish soap to help it cling. Uh, just sprayed it on um, and then used the brush a little bit um, to um, uh, agitate and then sprayed it off with pretty much the same results. So I'm not really sure which way was easier. I will probably next year go back to the pump sprayer and film that and, and then that way I can even view them side by side and see which one I think was the easier. Uh, this whole process uh, took a couple, um, well, I did it in two days, um, uh, probably total of about three hours. Uh, I took my time. It was hard getting in the bottom uh, underneath the trailer. That was the most difficult part. But if I was rushing through this, um, probably a couple hours, but I, I think an hour and a half, uh, first day, and about that maybe, give or take, uh, and that includes, that's that's from the start, that's from uh, plastic on the on the uh, trailer to the pressure wash, and there's both products, um, the five pound bag, I am can't remember, I think this is my third year using the five pound bag, and I, I think I have enough to do next year yet again, and here is the universal uh, wallpaper just to thicken it up from Home Depot. Um, once again, I'll try to do some links to those. If they don't work, the uh, acid is from Amazon, um, and the wallpaper paste and the brush were both from, from Amazon uh, for those who are interested in that. Um, but um, it was a good process, and you'll see here in a minute, the, the finished product is unbelievable from the first part. And there you go. That is quite a difference. Not perfect. If you see when we round the corner on the back, you can see a little bit of the, well, still on the water line, a little tiny staining, almost not visible, but unbelievable from where we started to where we finished. Still got to clean up my prop a little bit there. But um, just for a couple, three hours of work, um, just, just remarkable. If you have any questions, let me know. Appreciate you watching and I uh, hope you have uh, similar success in cleaning your boat.